Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, which is named the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, I just want to do a little video, man. You know, this is, you know, for the most of us, man, this isn't anything new, but, you know, you always got new brothers, you know, coming into this thing, man. Okay, why? Because we're, you know, in the time now of, of what? A great awakening, man. Right? That's why, you know, people are leaving these churches, man. Because they're saying, wait a second, what the pastor on stage is, is saying, it doesn't add up with the Bible. Right? Which, you know, the pork chop eating pastor. Which, you know, not all of them eat pork, but, you know, a lot of them do, man. Be up there saying, oh, yeah, you can, you know, eat what you want, right? Because all foods have been made clean. I believe they quote, what is it, Acts the 10th chapter. Um... You know, saying, oh, yeah, all food has been made clean. But wait a second, I got to ask this, though. If we go to the book of um, Isaiah chapter, uh, I believe it's 66 and verse 17, it says that when, you know, Jesus, or, you know, Yahweh Shai returns, that he's going to kill those who hide behind trees, who eat swine's flesh. But the point of mentioning it is it says those who eat swine's flesh. And that's when Christ returns. So that hasn't happened yet. So wait a second. So how can you eat pork if it clearly says in the verse that Christ is going to kill those who eat pork then. And they won't address that, right? They, nobody, will, nobody will talk about that, man. Right? Nobody will talk about that. But, you know, another thing that they don't talk about, man, all right, they won't talk about this in the church, man. All right, but you know what? You know, we will. You know why? Because, you know, we, you know, starting with, you know, the apostles and elders of GMS Great Millstone, you know, and, you know, Sakari and, you know, other, you know, groups out there, right, other brothers throughout the, you know, four corners of the earth, man, who we bring out the truth of the Bible. Whatever the scriptures say, we, we will hold to and we will teach, man, all right, regardless of how, you know, the world feels, man, or no, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, if somebody hears it and gets offended, man, okay, that doesn't matter, man, that's why the scriptures say, what is that, Matthew, I believe that's 11 and 6, it says, and blessed is the man who is not offended in me, right, and that's what Yahweh said, man, right, blessed is the man who's not offended in me. And why would they be offended in Yahweh Shai? Because of the words that he's saying, man. Okay, so look at this, man. Okay, according to the Bible, the Most High kills, man. All right, that's what the Bible says. Now, the church don't teach that. They teach that, you know, Satan does the evil in the world. Which, that's, that's bullshit because all you got to do is go to uh, uh, Job chapter 2. And it says that Satan had to come before the Lord to get permission to do evil, man. All right? So... You know, they'll never bring that out either, man, because, again, their whole doctrine is what, that, you know, that Satan, you know, that God and Satan are, you know, against each other, man. Right, that there was some type of, you know, war in heaven, and they bring up uh, um, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, you know, and say, well, see, that says, you know, Satan was cast out of heaven. But they don't know what that's talking about, because that's talking about, if you read the whole entire context of the, you know, the chapter, that was talking about the king of Babylon, man. All right, that's what that was talking about. Anyway, anyway, you know, I am... You know, hey, also, I am known as what the notorious B.I.G. of the scriptures. So, you know, I uh, tend to get off track sometimes. But uh, anyway, right, right, with, you know, too deep of a conversation. <laughs> it's that joke. But anyway, I digress. You know, hey, look, man, the Lord kills and makes alive according to the scriptures, man. All right? That's what the Bible says. This is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, the Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. The Lord makes poor and he makes rich. He brings low and he lifts up. But the point of the matter is the, verse, the first part of the verse, man. It said the Lord kills and he makes alive. How do you guys in the church get around that, man? That the Lord kills, man. All right, the Lord kills and he makes alive, man. All right, that's what it is, man. All right, the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, who the world ignorant calls, you know, God and Jesus Christ. They're the ones who are issue death, man. Right, life and death, man. That's what it is. All right, and anybody teaching otherwise doesn't know the scriptures. And it's not me who's just saying that, you know, just to say so. That's what the scriptures say. And it's clearly right here, man. All right, so you guys who can't get it, well, you know, hey, well, you know, you guys don't agree with the scriptures. All right, anyway, we'll, you know, get more. Do it for me a second. A little sneak peek at some future lessons there. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see where I left off. Okay. Okay. This is another one, man. You know, which Ridge Nibbler, right, for those who know him, which I like that guy. He's he's pretty cool, but he don't know too much, though. Hey, that guy, you know, he's smart when it comes to, you know, may I say precious metals or, you know, maybe history and, you know, stuff like that. I'll give him that. He's very intelligent. 
when it comes to that. But when it comes to talking about the scriptures, that's where he, you know, pretty much, that's his downfall right there. Right? He don't, he don't know too much about that. I mean, hell, he's on there saying that, what, the God of the Old Testament is the devil, man. Which, I, hey, I mean, he might as well call it the old Satan, man, then. Right? I mean, hey, if, you know, according to you, if the God of the Old Testament is the devil, according to you, then that means that it has to be the old Satan, man. Is what you should start saying, man. I mean, come on, man. And this is one of his, you know, things he brings up here. Well, the God of the Bible wouldn't, you know, kill children. But, hey, look, he all know the scriptures, though. Because, again, as as the evidence proves, it's the most high God, you have a Bashim, you know, Shai. He does kill, man. He makes alive and he kills. That's what the Bible says. I'm not making that up. It says that. All right? So, I mean, hey, if you can't get it, well, then you don't know the scriptures. It's very simple. All right? Remember, my brothers. All right? I'll say this before and I'll say it again. There is one truth. There are many lies, but there is one truth. Okay? There are many lies, but there is one truth, my brothers. Okay? So, anybody who is not teaching that one truth is teaching a lie. It's that simple. Okay? There's not ten different doctrines that are all true at the same time. That's not true. Okay, only one of them can be true and all the rest of them are false. Okay? And how do we decide and, and, you know, can tell what ones are, you know, true and false? Well, the answer to that question is, you know, you go by the scriptures, man. Right? You go by the scriptures. Anyway, uh, the book of Ezekiel chapter 9, and we'll start at verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city and through the midst of Jerusalem. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the, the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said, in mine hearing, Go ye after him for the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, ha neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. But the point of the matter is this is the Lord commanding here that they kill women and little children, man. So what, what, what do you pastors have to say about this, man? What do you pastors have to say about this? And this is God here, man. That's why it said at the beginning of the, of the uh, you know, fourth verse, it says that the Lord, right, all capital letters, the Lord, man. Right, the Lord said this. Right, Yahweh. Okay, the Lord commanded this, man. Okay, so you see, the, these Christian pastors, they won't talk about this, though. Right, they're, what is their whole message, man? It's all about, you know, usually, you know, from my experience of, you know, being in the church, man, usually it's all about, you know, may I say encouragement, right, and feeling good about oneself. And so once in a while I've been to a couple that, you know, might have been a little bit deeper than the other ones, I'll admit that. Um, but at the end of the day, man, all of them, you know, they're not all, <laughs> none of them are really teaching the truth of the Bible, man. Because for one, they're all teaching what, that what? Christ loves everybody. That's not true. That's not in the scriptures. Like, that's not in the scriptures, inside joke. But that's not in the scriptures. Where the hell does it say that God loves everybody? That's not in the scriptures. Right? What, what about, um, uh, what is that? Uh, Romans 9 and 13. For Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right, the Lord hated Esau. Why aren't y'all cats talk about that then? Why? Because y'all cats are full of shit, man. All right, they're in the churches. And I, again, you know, excuse my language, but, you know, hey, we got to call them out, man. All right, because these cats out here are full of shit. All right? And it's just true. Okay? Um... No, there's got a couple more, you know, a couple more skip cheese. Uh, okay, and this is a good one, man. One of my personal favorites, man. Uh, the church will never talk about this, okay? You know, everybody likes to get on Muslims because and say, well, wait a second, you guys say that anybody who doesn't want to worship Allah should be killed. But wait a second, the Bible says the same thing, though. That anybody who don't want to believe or, or worship Yahweh should be put to death. That's what the Bible says. This is the book of uh, Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, the God of Israel, they should be put to death, whether small or great, whether a man or a woman. Let's read that again. Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, the God of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether a man or a woman. And you pork chop eating pastors won't talk about that, man. All right? 
Matter of fact, what is their message, man? Their message is what? Come to the Lord as you are. That's what their message is, man. Right? Come to the Lord as you are. Okay? Come to the Most High how you are. That's not true, man. That's going off. All right? And, I mean, hey, it's very clear in the scriptures, man. All right? So as I said, man, at the end of the day, you know, if you can't get it, then you can't get it, man. All right? But, you know, hey, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, they'll see these videos and they will, you know, they'll understand it, man. That's why the scriptures say, what is that, Daniel 12th chapter, that the wicked should do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, right? So, you know, hey, if you can if you can get it, then that's good, man. You might be of the elect, okay? But if not, then, hey, you might want to, you know, do some more study, man, all right? But anyway, you know, I'm going to, you know, call that the, uh, the listen there. I hope that was out of fine. Anybody that made it this far into the video, uh, put hashtag ETT in the comment section down below. Once again, hashtag ETT in the comment section down below, and I'm going to say shalom.